Hey guys, what's up? I'm Sharon from Just Ready Things. In this video, let's talk about the new metal pack released by Curtis Holt, which is Modular Metals. I'm really excited for this pack because this is one of the largest metal pack I have ever seen in Blender. So let's get started. If you want to get this pack, I leave an affiliate link in the description. So if you use the link, you'll also support the channel. Curtis also made an in-depth video talking about the functionalities of the pack and he also made a web page in his website. I leave the both links in the description as well. So when you get the pack, you'll get a demo file along with it. It's called Modular Metals Demo Scene. So this is how the demo scene is going to look like. And uh, let's go through one by one. First of all, we have all the presets. Before that, let's change the viewport to rendered view. Right off the bat, we have complex iron here and it looks really realistic. And for the sake of performance, let's hide the background. On the website, you can see there are several renders that are used to showcase the material pack. And you can find all the materials here. So we have archaeology pack, we have gold foil, worked iron, brushed steel and battered silver. And we also have like the billing notes like the painted metals, gun metal, art deco and the mega shader. To see how it all looks, all you have to do is select the node group and press ctrl H. And when you press this arrow icon down, there you go, you have this one. So to close this again, you can press ctrl H directly and press H again. Smart notes are something that can be used directly on any material. It also has an age slider control. With zero age and zero normal strength, you can see that there is no imperfections at all. So when you increase the age, you can see that the first we are getting little bumps and then slowly you can see that corrosion is appearing. And we can also control it for the minimum and maximum AO using these nodes which is pretty good and we also have smart rust we can decrease the age or increase the age to see the effects and one of my favorite notes is the gunmetal one because it has really nice imperfections especially the scratches they look super realistic you can change the base color as well let me just bring it up and see how it looks there you go i really like this one so much so next up we are coming to the master nodes or the muscle meta nodes the first one is a master copper, which is basically age simulation and imperfections and ambient occlusion. These are the three things that is going to consider. Whereas the complex copper and complex iron considers the edge wear as well. Next up we have the mega shader, which is built upon complex copper and complex iron. It's not realistically correct, but for getting stylized looks, I think this is one of the best node group. You should remember that uh, master copper is the most computationally cheaper one. And then the next comes complex iron copper and complex iron and then comes the mega shader. Relatively, the computation increases when the complexity of the node groups increases as well. So you have to remember that you should have a pretty good PC. Next up, we have the building nodes. All these nodes which we talked, like the master nodes, complex copper, mega shader, every single node, are built using these nodes. For example, let's take the battered metal. Let's copy and paste them aside and let's see how you can use them. And also, let's also take the common metal colors. Now to use them, all you have to do is take a glossy node and connect the normal to the normal socket. And you can connect any metal color. For example, if you want gold, you can connect gold. There you go. It's like battered gold now. Next, we have bronze. We have brass. And everything, you can also control the roughness here. Also, let's look at um, brushed metal. Let's copy paste them here. Here, all you have to do is just connect the roughness to the roughness socket. There you go. You can increase the roughness, base roughness here. And you can also increase the normal strength. This is how you can use this pack to get photorealistic materials. And I really like this. The next one are the node tools. For example, get AO, which gets the AO mask, ambient occlusion mask. You can control them using these two sliders. Next, we have get edges, which only like uh, masks out the edges. It also has this invert slider basically to invert the whole functionality and you can increase the radius to basically increase the radius of the edges. So that's it guys. This is one of my favorite uh, metal pack. I really recommend you to buy this pack if to make your workflow pretty fast. And I think I'll be using this in the future projects as well. And as, as I told you, the links are in the description and thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.